experience has been very nice this week. Um, we're starting to make our game look prettier every single day, and um, yeah, I've been I've been trying to make loads of kind of vegetation, plant life for our uh, our universe, and it's coming along quite nicely. But uh, yeah, one thing I have learned is uh, how many models that are fully textured you can make in a day, and hopefully I'll be able to push that a little bit forward and make some more. Okay, so things have been coming along pretty well this so week. We run into a few issues, we'll talk about them in a little while. Um, so we managed to get the rigging finished off at the end of last week and animation started. Um, we've got quite a few things sort of done. We've got the cycles for the eel uh, and the fish and the crab. Um, and the millipede is pretty much ready. I'm working with Captain Cannibal at the moment, so you guys can sort of have a look at them in a sec. Uh, yeah, sort of. Learn a bit more about biped. They've sort of changed the system in 2009. It's slightly different to the old version, so just getting a bit more uh, in depth with those tools. We started implementing a lot of the models we've had, um, and generally the game's looking better. In terms of the engine, we've added some features, and we set up a whole script system. So now we just add more and more features as we, as we need them, um, trigger zones and dynamic objects. Stuff like that. So it's coming on really well. It's pretty much, pretty much halfway there. I've been churning out models to populate our levels with over the last uh, week or so, and I've started concept art for uh, the next uh, well, part of our game, Tortuga, and I started building the ships that uh, our pirates are going to fly around in. We've had some good progress this week. We've uh, started to get models in game. We're seeing more of the shape of the game. But we still, uh, well, we still have a long way to go. So we're at the stage of uh, cutting features and content, which is fun. This is week five, and uh, progress has begun fairly decently. Um, we've got a, a lot of stuff done. We've organised voice actors. We've got shaders working. And we've got a third race in production. It'll be hopefully done by the end of the week. Um, Control systems in, weapons firing, everything's set to come together into something that actually looks like a game. Um, so we're all pretty happy with progress and things are going well. Um, this week I have mostly been working on um, the heads up display with Dominic. Um, we've been producing, well, he's been producing um, themed portraits um, for each of the characters, um, streamlining the HUD so we're getting everything in that needs to be conveyed to the character. Um, and I am arranging it all nicely and um, getting it all functional and working with the controllers and responding to what's going on in the game. Um, I've also been um, rearranging our weapons system and our tier system because we've got lots of weapons um, that are unlocked over time and they all do fantabulous and amazing different things. Um, so that has to all be ordered. This week we're mainly trying to work out lighting solutions. Um, we need light coming off the sun at a central point. Uh, so I've been looking into how to solve that. We've also been looking into uh, bloom shaders, um, which at the moment we're not too sure about because it drops our frame rate quite heavily, but we will be looking into that over the next few days or so. Yeah, so far it's been pretty good. Um, we're currently still doing our stuff. Um, I've been working on the uh, level some more, resizing it, rescaling textures to make them high definition. Uh, everything's pretty much doubled in size now, so it's a much sharper resolution. This is the medical training map, so it's making sure all the textures link up correctly and that they're the right sizes. Well, progress is pretty good actually. Um, last week we managed to finalize the collisions. I um, don't think there's anything more we should explain about that now. Uh, Beginning of the week, it was my job to finalize movement, and that's working just fine. Um, and right now, I'm working on camera again. Just have to adapt the camera to the collision mechanics. You see that? Um, this is the player. You move around, you turn around, the camera follows. Lots of values on screen. <laughs> So movement is with this thumbstick, left-right rotation, 
no strafe at this time. We've been um, incorporating all the collision work that Tom's been doing into the stuff I've been doing. So, and that's basically sort of getting everything working together. We, we've got the majority of it working. I spent a lot of the time trying to get the particles to work. Uh, that actually was probably one of my major problems, which I'll go into when you ask me about them. Um, <laughs> and now I'm just working on stuff like switching machine characters and the whole um, party aspect of it at the moment. Mm. I finished off one of the characters. I don't know if she'll get into the game, but I made her anyway. I'm work currently working on another character. Same situation. I don't know whether he will get in the game either. So it depends yeah. on what Chris says. What the programmers will do is that they'll uh, modify this within the code and, and like add a part of the effect on the trajectory, trajectory when, when, she, when she releases the grenade. The progress is going quite smooth. Um, so what I've been working on is uh, sound effects basically for the game. Um, I recently started working with the exact software trying to get all the sounds in there which will um, then go into XNA. and a um, and uh, I finished off the sounds of the healing and the magic attacks of Leon. This week we've been putting in our geometry into the world. We're starting to populate it with a lot of features such as pickups, events and lots of different platforms as well. We're also uh, working on the control system and the physics. We've tweaked it a little bit so it plays a little better and it's easier with the Wii Remote. We've also got our audio mixer in and lots of sounds. We've also got our background music, which is pretty funky. That was done by Johnny. Uh, the real-time guys came in as well. They were pretty handy, so cheers, guys. That helped a lot, actually. We've got the Wii Remote working. Check it out, guys. Oh, yeah. Sexy. <laughs> hey. That is so easy to slash. Mm, these small things. And she's back. <laughs>